टू अंडरस्टैंड द पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ गैस्टेशन डायबिटीज फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द नॉर्मल फिजियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस इन ए प्रेगनेंट फीमेल दैट ऑकर्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ब्लड ग्लूकोज मेटाबोलिज्म ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी द बेबी डिपेंड्स ऑन मदर फॉर इट्स ग्रोथ डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज न्यूट्रिशन फॉर दिस देर ऑकर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फिजियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस इन अ फीमेल एंड वन ऑफ दैम इज इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस मीन्स रेजिस्टेंस टू द एक्शन ऑफ इंसुलिन सो वट इज इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस एंड हाउ इट डेवलप्स इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ गैस्टेशनल डायबिटीज सो इंसुलिन इज अ हारमोन इट इज सिक्रेटेड बाय बीटा सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन अ पेनक्रिया द फंक्शन ऑफ इंसुलिन कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बाय की एंड लॉक मॉडल जस्ट इमेजिन that insulin is a key and for the opening of the doors it need to bind to its corresponding lock that is insulin receptor these insulin receptors are present on different tissues for example liver and muscle so when a insulin binds to its corresponding receptor the opening of door will occur and these open door will help in entry of blood glucose molecules into different tissues so that's insulin helps in the utilization of blood glucose so when there is a insulin resistance this blood glucose molecule will not be able to enter in a proper amount from blood to the different tissues so level of blood glucose will increase and this high blood glucose will be transferred from mother to baby through placenta thus a baby will get its nutrition so it is a normal physiological change that occurs in all pregnant females then how this insulin resistance leads to gestational diabetes there are a, some high risk group of pregnant females for example if at the time of conception your age is 35 or more which is very very common these days if you are obese or overweight means your body mass index is more than 23 kg per meter square you have a history of childhood obesity you have a past history of pcod past history of gestational diabetes in your previous pregnancy past history of large size baby that is the baby with birth weight of more than 4 kg so these are the high risk females in these females there is underlying insulin resistance already present so when they get pregnant this resistance is further increased that means the blood glucose level crosses the normal recommended range so this is how the already present insulin resistance that get worsened during the pregnancy leads to the gestational diabetes mellitus onset